Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome back to Lovecraft Country, another episode of Sinking City Sidetracks. Yes, just to let you know, I'm using a new sound setup, so let me know if it's better than before or worse, you know, it's always trying to figure things out, sound balance is my probably number one um, bugaboo, so to speak. Anyways, so this time around, we need to catch up on some side to us, because they have accumulated like crazy. I mean, just take a look at the casebook. Mystic Tomes, Letters from Oakmont, Field Research, Fool's Gold, Open House. Yeah, we got a whole bunch. We even picked up a new one last episode about, um, hmm, I wonder what it was supposed to be doing. It just says that, you know, yeah, to go to a bunch of places and something will happen. I'm sure it'll be fine. But in any case, let's start with one of the oldest ones we have going, which is the field research. Dr. Grant from the Oakmont City Hospital is interested in wild beasts. In other words, those are the monsters that keep coming after us. He believes that studying these creatures, their origins, and their habits will be able to reduce the number of citizens they injure or kill. He can't leave his patients, so I agreed to assist him for a price. So basically, it means we have to go out and kill a whole bunch of peep things. Now, this is kind of like those MMO games where you go out and collect hides. Uh, we're kind of doing it for medical research. Now, I know that the bodies disintegrate when we look at them, but let's just go with the idea that... Um, well, we should figure out where we're going first. Let's go with the idea that we actually collect the bodies and need to dissect them. Okay, so let's make sure we've got... Yep, field research done. We go to the map. Check out the marks. All right, so... Yeah, okay, former patient shot Central Salvation Harbor on Windheim Street, south of Polaris Road. Okay, so we go to Salvation Harbor, which is down here. We've been going here a lot lately. And it's on Windheim Street. Where is Windheim Street? Oh, wait. Did I, I already marked that from previous before. Right, well, that makes it easy. Now, Northern Salvation Harbor, Moorland Road, between Higgs and Benevolent. Moorland Road, there it is, between Higgs and... There's Higgs, and there, where's Benevolent? So, basically here, I guess? Oh, it must be a uh, dock. Anyways, let's uh, place the mark here. Now, we need to get there as quickly as possible. The closest teleportation thing. Yeah, we might as well hit here first. And it's Salvation Harbor, hit here, and then we'll uh, then I'll take the boat over to get that one. Okay, so I will see you over in that one. Hang on. Okay, so a quick uh, look around, and here at the intersection of Polaris and Wine, a little bit off actually, it took a bit to go through. Finally found a door we can get into, which means this must be the shop. Alright, so let's get ourselves armed, just in case. Oh yeah, it's definitely confirming. Let's see, why is there a creepy, creepy music box playing? Thank you very much. I just always need the gun more gunpowder. See anything else to loot around here? Yeah, none of these boxes, unfortunately. These are all window. Okay, we got something coming. All right, so what the hell is that thing? Took all seven rounds. Wow. What the hell? Now well, I can see you guys back here. Okay, well that happened. The hell is this? I don't know if I want to get into it. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. I see. Well, that didn't go well for them, now did it? Ugh. Get this thing off my shoes. Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. Yeah, we figured that part out. Shop owner's notes. Dreams returned again, even stronger than before. I feel those touching me, crawling, leaning towards my warmth. The doctor is a Dane obsessed with theories, but who can help me? I'm losing my mind. Today I woke up and one of the creatures under my blanket. I smashed it on the floor and stomped it until it stopped moving, but it was no more dream. It's real. Either cocaine or cocaine or coffee worked to keep me awake. Kay, help me. Twice I have almost fallen asleep and they've appeared again. So somehow they're appearing out of people's dreams. Uh-oh. All right, where's the... Okay, so we gotta go follow the creepy, creepy... That's just wrong. Yeah. Oh, are we supposed to be going somewhere? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so we go this way. It appeared to us when we walk. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Uh, yeah, let's turn this off for a second to get our sanity back. Okay, well, I guess we found him. 
Yeah. Uh, no need to guess what he what happened here. More scrap. And apparently he played at the uh, hell. Oh boy. All right, let's shift to something bigger. We're gonna need it, obviously. Also, running out of ammo. But the small things. Okay, somebody's letting loose like ink clouds. All right. All right. It's the third one in here. Oh shit! I don't have enough. I don't have a. Have to reload. Yeah, I do. So reload. Damn it. Let's shift over to the other gun. Reload that. Got any more bullets after this? I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. Okay, so looks like we got them all. But yeah, the blood. Ish. Oh, I hope he wasn't running a butcher shop, because this would. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff, however. Cordite and rags. That's cool. Ah, found another pistol round. Let's get that in. Don't think this is doing good wonders for our sanity at the moment. Can't carry any more shit. Oh, we definitely need to go make some weapons. Okay, let's get out of here, because apparently it's messing with us. Alright, so... Yeah, just, just clear your head, man. Clear your head. Let's get some inventory done. A little work sometimes helps here. So we have... We have 10 gunpowder. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to reload. I want a spare magazine, so 14 should be okay. Excellent, excellent. This allows us to pick up some of those shell casings as well. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this for now. I'll have 12 here and 14 here is enough that we should be carrying around. 12 six-shooter, okay, yeah. We're doing fine. I didn't think a grenade in here would be a good idea. You know, small things like this. Oh, God. Walk it off, man. You know, honestly, the drugs we inject should, for sanity returns, should just be alcohol. Can't bear to stay awake anymore. Can't let them take me there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear to me, touch me the cold hand, sting me with those tails, and I want them to end the suffering. Okay, forgive me. Evidence updated. Key evidence collected. Do we have all evidence collected yet, though? Nope. Looks like we've got some more stuff to go through. Let's get the stuff we were missing before. And we're not pulling the sanity losses anymore. There we go. More shell casings to replace the ones we just used. And you still got a couple, according to the map. Because it's going to give us a, a yellow... Yep, we still got some evidence here to collect. So, I'll take a quick look around, and if I need to, I will cut and paste. Tell me about it. Yeah, okay. Just let's keep this reloaded, dude. Put the gun away. We're having a bad day at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, we've got these two. We've got that piece of note. Alright, so I'm gonna go upstairs and check. Hang on. Okay, found it here on the first level. Appears to be another document. Hospital response. The disturbing dreams you complained about me, the result of Helmuth infestation. Your description of the creatures you see and feel while sleeping are reminiscent of the parasitic forms of life. This doc is obsessed with these things. They're not even real, as far as I know. This is a Lovecraftian universe. I recommend you follow the recipe below to devise an ointment of my own devising to ease your symptoms and get you rid of any of all parasites. No wonder it wasn't helping. Oh, we got a knowledge point, too. Okay, we collected all the evidence. All right. So, let's go see what help we cannot provide for the next four bastards suffering from this, because apparently, according to the doc... He's turning into one of those things. So, yeah. Fuck! Fuck! Yeesh! Just... The... Ugh. Well, that'll teach me to lower my guard. Dude, can I just monologue in peace? Okay, so I'm actually on route to... The hell? Okay, that was hilarious. I just want to point out it's recording because it's kind of um, uh, atmospheric here with all the fog, but apparently we just had a bit of a clipping error with this person. So I, I guess they just want to free ride? I, I, sure, dude, but you know, it's ass, grass, or gas, really. Um, oh, look what you made me do. Now we're stuck. Okay, I think I found it over here, or if you notice on the map. About, yeah, about where I thought it would be, so this would probably be our infected guy, considering how much trouble we got in before, and we haven't really been trying this one out. Let's see what this baby can do. 
Okay, yeah, we definitely got the right place. Let's wait till we get ambushed. That didn't take long. There you are. I think there's spitters, so let's get as cover as we can. Where did you go? Where did you go? Alright, so let's... Every kid's childhood dream. Ah, the rocking horse. I a toy like that too Great, so there are kids involved. This is secret books. Bad dreams again. The thing out of the floor kept scratching. I told mom that she said it was rats. You're under... You're on water. Oh, the rats can swim. Dad told John for playing with the slimes near the hole, but it wasn't him. I told Dad about the thing that lives in that basement, and he punished me too. Tonight I saw the head looking from the hole and cried. It comes at night and wants to do bad things to me and John. Why won't Mom and Dad believe me? I'm so tired from not sleeping I couldn't watch the hole, and today I feel so bad. My belly hurts. My smell tastes like slimes. Mom and Dad say feel bad too. Now I hear it scratching. So, this used to be a family. Great to know. Well, I'm putting you out of your misery. Just, you know, consider it a public duty. Let's switch over to the revolver. I know we got more here somewhere. Damn. I can hear you. I watch those corners. Well, I guess a couple of them didn't make it. Uh oh. Alright, let's grab a few things. Cordite, some gunpowder. Always need more gunpowder. Alright. Cool, cool. More okay. Lots more springs, but doesn't really help. Alright, we need to get out of here. Guys. Um, this is a hell of a glitch. So I get stuck back here, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, I managed to go back and forth enough to be able to do that. But yeah. Still got monsters to kill. Apparently got some sort of predator camouflage going here. Nothing three revolver bolts can't take care of. Shotgun might have been overkill. Need to save that. Still haven't found everything, so I guess we gotta clear upstairs first. So two dead from the infection and two transformed so far. I don't know how many people are actually in the family. We assume four, since she's mentioned four. That just means at least four. Don't think we're getting through there. Coral is a bit of a bitch. Uh oh. Better reload. Okay, sack. So just shoot casual. Okay, now that we've got problems, yeah. Come on. Alright, we're going to finish you off with a lighter gun, because I can, the more I can afford it better. Alright then. That was expensive. Alright, no, turn that off. Yeah, that was expensive in bullets. You better be paying a lot for this. Still haven't got everything yet. Alright. Let's uh, shift through and see what we got. Let's reload this. And let's reload this. Not a merit full anymore, unfortunately. And let's reload this. Except the, re except the automatic. And it's unfortunately the weakest gun. Which means we can obviously keep it, you know, loaded a lot easier. And the lights are still on. And the slime still looks fresh. I suspect Dr. Grant would be interested in it. Alright, so I guess we collect the ooze sample. Oh, somebody's Sunday best. So they transform into lead. That must be what's left of their humanity. Just sloughs off onto the ground. I'm not going to touch anything here. Uh, weeks have passed since this food was cooked. It's a week or two. Read your lines properly. Alright, anything else we need to investigate around here? Because I think it still says yellow on the map. No, nope, haven't you found the key evidence yet? Wow. Alright then. We've already got the slime sample there. Alright, so again, I'll, I'll uh, let you catch up. 
I see how we missed it. Notice the little quivering out here. We never quite got close enough to this corner, which you can see in the front, in the first level. Okay. Oops. Alright. Hit the right angle here, would you? There we go. Okay, I guess this is how they infest people. While you're asleep. Uh, dude, stop pointing at me. We're leaving! Another one. I need something bigger than this. Well, I can finish it off the revolver rounds at least. You're here somewhere, dude. No predator vision's gonna work here. It'll just beat you to death. I hate it when they do that. Uh, the last one snuck up on me because of this. In any case, have we even got all the evidence yet? No, it still says we're missing more. Wonder what for. Oh, we got a recognition, as I've, I've learned they've been called. Hopefully, we won't be attacked during it. Well, it looks like the infection is triggered simultaneously, so it's probably pheromone based. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? Well, yeah, that's the American system for you. Look, we know you're transforming into an alien xenomorphic pr thing, and your time is limited, but you still aren't gonna. We still have a deadline, Johnson. Time to figure this out. Easy enough to do. There's the I'm going to work. One over here. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Now it's theoretically Why possible the uh, the first two might be in the, in the opposite order. So try this two. Because it might actually be the case. If that's the case, I'll reverse it when we when we when it when it uh, fails and kicks me out. I just don't know what happened to the other one. Nope, I was wrong. So yeah, I gotta say this. Um, nuke the place from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Because every human here that isn't already a fish person... Yeah, there it is. The infection point. Is going to be transformed into an into a humanoid abomination, at the very least. Okay, so then we go to... Despite being no infected by an alien I, xenomorph, we I need to... to uh, Why can't you need to pay check. That also means the guy is out there somewhere infected. Because this is the only uh, ones we've seen here. Now, this would have been a good place for a grenade. The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. Okay, deadly infestation, the 184. We've collected the evidence. Go tell the doctor how screwed his town is. All right, yeah, all of it is collected. Yeah, I'll uh, transport us back to the hospital. Hang on. You now I had to come by and check out the, uh, get that phone booth anyway. So let's just check out the hotel, see if anything's going on. I'm watching you, Nuke. Great. Always loved it. Good to have a fan club. <sighs> the door won't budge. Not anything new? Yes. EOD is poisoning people. Recently, doctors have found numerous cases of fatal food poisoning of those who receive fish from the organization known as the EOD. What is the reason for these deaths, and why would the EOD stand to gain from them? These questions remain unanswered, but perhaps most fans of the charitable organization are not that charitable after all. So yeah, despite our domestic terrorism being, you know, morally black, apparently we've got a good result of gaining the EOD, losing the EOD's influence on the people of Oakmont. In any case, we highly advise our readers to stay away from the EOD members and refuse any gifts to them, especially food. The cost of free food might be your life. All right, so we know that happened. I'm guessing this happens every time that we. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's just the uh, thing. Okay, so let's a uh, quick wardrobe change. Let's see what we can wear. Uh, bird newcomer wind coat. Oh, he's a wind coat. Master sleuth. Let's just go with the vacationist now. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's uh, let's go cash. Let's take a casual Friday, shall we? All right, so I will continue over with the TARDIS. Hang on.
Okay, so here we are back at the hospital. Let's go see what the doc has to say about his, um, patients. Okay. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those... Right, he already had... Terrible. Bells already huh. did that. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. Yeah, remember we, during the mission, we went into that professor who's dissecting them. Or rather, we didn't meet him, we met his partner, who's the one who got us to do the uh, domestic terrorism. There are, scientists are obsessed with naming things. So now we have a name for them. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. Uh, it wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm. A psychic phenomenon or manifestation? How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. Wait, we have more? I found your studies rather... Interesting, Dr. Grant. You got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Tell me more. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? That could be anything from teleportation or smashing down the floor from beneath. Uh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. Oh, yeah. The police found nothing. Not surprised. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant, too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. The fuck? Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Okay, so the problem is we're short on ammunition. Okay. Or suicide note, yeah, but we and we didn't get a reward. Great. Oh wait, there we go. Rounds, some rounds, shells, first aid kits, thirty-eight rounds. Okay, okay, antipsychotic. So let's take a look at our inventory, shall we? Okay, the inventory shows me I have eighteen, thirteen, and ten. That's not bad. And if we start getting a little crazier with the, ooh, may want to hold off on doing those uh, big ones next. It was good that he gave us a mid-mission ones, but I, th I think under lore we would get the beast area. Yeah, boom. Westbrook's Gride. Stygians. Locals want me several kinds of creatures saying they appear in their homes. The ones that come from dreams. The exemplars have multiple limbs and human-like palms. They resist to poison and acid. One, the only one breed the Stygian harbor is aggressive. It's a colic stinger that can cause grievous wounds. The rarest breed is the smoker. That must have created the black smoke. Huge amount of fumes that lurks among them. Then I'm fascinated with Stephen Weaver. Somehow it can restore the tissue of their wild beasts. So therefore, it's a healer. Okay, so only one of them can attack us. And the, that's we have to concentrate on that one. It appears to be the weakest one because those are usually ones that go under two, un, down by uh, one bullet. Research, Leviathans, by Dr. Esterbrook. West, uh, the Leviathans formed of humans are numerous autopsies that can stay with confidence there are multiple pathogens causing mutations in human victims. Their bulb-like colonies act as additional hearts, ensuring the flow of lymphatic liquids built with bacteria. Fluid is gathered in the form of stom human stomach and then be expelled by the Leviathans in each force. Yeah, they're vomiting stomach acid on us. That's because our flesh, when we die, our flesh dissolves and they can suck it up with the tongue. The less study immortals have rapid regeneration. There have been reports about wraiths that have disappeared. Okay, so yeah, so we have the predator ones too. 
And we got here, EOD is poisoning people. I think we caught up on that. Casebook, however. Yeah, the lock shop. Huge wild beast. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to probably shift over into one of the other ones. I think I've got another entry uh, over by the um, library, if I recall. I spotted a, uh, a section to uh, to investigate. I think it has to do with either the letters, brain cylinders, or the books. I'm going to hit that next, give this one a bit of a rest. We'll come back to our favorite um, monster hunting quest in a bit. And uh, maybe I'll wait till I have the machine gun for the damn thing. Because it keeps telling me I have both a submachine gun and an assault rifle. So, well, this version's of assault rifle. Probably like an Enfield or something. Which is an excellent weapon. Still useful to these, to these days, by the way, if you're a sharpshooter. But in any case, well, easy to maintain. Hang on. Okay, so, yeah. I bet thing I was thinking about was over here, but there's a quick stop over here regarding um, the Mystic Tomes situation. Now, one of them is set in a bank, and given what I've learned, yeah, there's the bank. So if we're very careful, we can get through here, because this is an infested zone. And let's see what sort of thing we're looking into, shall we? Get that one around in the chamber. Alright, so we are looking for the Mystic Tome, and I'm barely certain... It's not going to be an easy run. We're going to lose at least sanity. But yeah, okay, okay. Nothing so far. Mm, let's check out the upper level first. Oh, good, because I'm a little light. Well, I haven't actually checked inventory-wise. Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just grab what we can. And I'm willing to bet whatever's looking for is in the basement, probably in the vault. Ooh, but... Wait, are we injured in any fashion? Can't tell, actually. Hmm. Yep, we are injured. So let's go ahead and uh, use the medical kit. Well, we've got a spare one right here. Switch back to the, do our trusty automatic, and then grab that. Now, the thing is about the revolver, I think we got it in our first mission, because all we started off with the automatic, and then suddenly... Okay, whoa! What's that? Those spitters. Actually, we beat it to death. We can. Only cost us one, two bullets. Oh, one bullet. We hadn't a chance to reload the other, the other one. Another one out there somewhere. Ah, coming upstairs. They must have been downstairs to begin with. Uh huh. Come on. Come on. You gonna try to flank me? Is that it? Is that it? Clever girl, huh? Okay, that worked. I don't know what that was, but we killed it. Hmm, it's goofing around up here. Just kick its ass. Ah. <laughs> well, that's just no good. Let's at least give ourselves a full ammunition. Alright, so... Yeah, I think downstairs is clear. Go check out that book. I'm not counting on it, mind you. What's this? That was a little weird. Okay, one shotgun shell, which is good. Alright, so... Yeah. Bathroom. Of course, it's a cash register, it's a bank, but yeah. Ah, there's the vault. Quick, see if there's anything in here. No? Alright. Ooh. Ah, there it is, the illusion on the... And let's turn it off. 
Camomium. The manuscript is written in symbols barely recognizable of the script. Its pages name in the hundreds, and splitting the book in two is a simple engraving of the thin sheet of metal. A deserted city square surrounded by tall pillars, in the middle, a hideous, crooked monstrosity squats that he devours. Oh, it's just Agatha. His screaming victim. Giant toad god. He just doesn't do much. He just eats things. He's trimmed his atrocious, but upon them, weird magnetisms as someone looks upon it for some time, the weak voice in head says, Beware the vile offspring, Kazas in Dorium. Okay, and we have another knowledge point. My head is not doing well. Anyways. Yeah, I think we got everything we're going to get in here. So, yeah. Okay, so we got two knowledge points to use up a lot of ammo. Oh, let's get this on the way out. Oh, that's good. That's good. What do we got? Inventory me, baby. Gunpowder. Screw it. Well, I got, if I got three gunpowder, we're going to use it for the big boy. Anyways, I'm going to run back out of here before any monstrosities come, and I will catch you in the next section. Actually, let's hold on a second. Let's see, skills. I believe we have two knowledge points. Now, the thing is, right, this is one of the things I wanted. I wanted to be able to get four rounds into the shotgun, so we're going to do that. And boom. What we're going to do is arm it. Oops. And reload. We have an increased chamber. Probably means we're going to hold... I hope it means we can hold more rounds. Anyways, so let's go for it. Okay, this is just around the corner, by the way. I should have just kept running. But if you squat down here, you can see there's a mystic symbol here. And some monsters back there. There's a crow... I don't like... Yeah, and we're... Yeah, you know what? I think there's something back there, but what we're going to try to do something, we're going to try to be clever. Whoops. Thank God, you've blown so slowly. And then, yep, it's a legionary wall. I pictured it out last time, but I haven't actually closed it or anything. I'm not sure why this... Alright. Alright. Come on in. Whoops. Uh, first things first. Let's get this baby in. Let's turn this off. Actually, let's try a grenade. Well, that didn't work. Oh, well. Let's get back to the regular stuff. Turn this off. Reload. All right, turn this off. Oh, God. Okay, that's just an insanity check. All right, so, yeah, we need to do something about us. First, let's get the brain back working. Then we get the body. So... That happened. Uh, let's get this reloaded. Hopefully that's just... Alright. Anybody else want to play? Anybody else here? Corner. Corner. Okay. Okay. Let's... Nope, dude. Just pick it up. Ah, uh, that must be for the Tommy gun. Tommy guns use 45 rounds. All right, first aid kit, good, good, we used up one. Corner, corner. Do you need to get up here? All right then. Okay, let's get these unlocked. Where is that? Huh. Thought I saw some things around here. Yeah, there's the uh, birds. Now, how do we get over there? Why am I getting a ringing tone over here? Oh, another one.
Can we... Oof, well that didn't work. Or are we just supposed to go down here? Oh. More stuff. Go up through here, and we've got more stuff. Alright, this is interesting. Oh! Traveler, A. Crowley. So Alistair Crowley, it's a brain canister. Visited, next visit, defective, return to Earth. Oh, that's a statement on Crowley. Next address, North Advent, crossroads of Fourth Father Street and St. Windolph. Notes, do you believe it was his real brain? I can't believe that. Okay, he probably did pull a fast one on them. Forefathers and Windolph. Okay. Okay, evidence updated. Key evidence collected. Is that all evidence collected? Yeah, because it gave us 184. So that was fun. Not... Uh-huh. Got a lot of stuff, at least. Hopefully making up part of it. What's the thing we're supposed to be looking at here? Hmm. Alright. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely check our inventory. Gods. Alright, so gunpowder's at seven. So we definitely need to get two more of these. Yeah, okay, since we're not going to be getting any treasures for this, so to speak. Okay, so yeah, the shotgun's proving good. Can we make, yeah, we can make another one, two of these. That was actually kind of fun. We got to see how grenades work. Yeah, that's like a quick, I'm going to keep running just in case there's a, uh, something I'm missing here. Because I don't think, yeah, we'll take the road, we'll take the easy road down rather than falling. But yeah, we found Alistair Crowley's fake brain case. Hmm. Apparently we are still got a lot of springs going. But yeah. So, let's see what we can find next on our side trek. And I think this is the way out. Yep. Well, that was fun, kids. Okay, so I just noticed that the next address is really close to where we are, but it's in the middle of an infested zone. So, yeah, let's give it a whirl. I'm probably, if you're seeing this, it was sparse, it was a successful mission. If not, well, you won't be seeing this. Anyways, let's see what we got. We need to find the crossroads, and we need to move fast, because the crossroads should be right over here. We need to locate something. There it is, right there. Traveler, F. Morgan, visited Plank, next visit, refuses to cooperate, return to Earth. Intersection of Sam Lead Street and Bolton uh, Lane, Central Street. Notes, I told you. I don't know who F. Morgan is, but we are leaving. I'm lucky he's pretty good at cardio. And we're gone. Oh, thank gods. So yeah, you saw this. It worked. Let's um, I'm gonna let's check out what the next one is supposed to be under casebook. Let's see. Sam Reed Street, Reed Heights, Bolton Rain. Okay, let's place it on the map. Reed Heights, Bolton. Where is Sam Reed's here? Bolton is... Where's Bolton Lane? Hmm. Ebon Street, Bolton Lane. Oh, there's Bourbon Road, Yellow King. Huh. Bur Bolton Lane, there it is, in another infested zone. Of course it is. Right then, so we'll do a quick teleport over here and see if we can do a dash and run. Alright, this was not where I expect this episode to go, looking up empty brain canisters, but, you know, life, can, life comes at you pretty fast. Okay, so here we are at the next location, right here. Unfortunately, this section is the infested area, so going directly through here have us going through a lot of stuff. I'm going to see if we can come about at the water a little easier. So keeping an eye out for anything in trouble. That's how I found the brain casing in the first place. Is I just saw something that looked out of place. Just occasionally sweep in. West MD. Herbert West has a lot of offices in this place. So if I'm looking at the map correctly, we take a right here. Come in on the infested zone in this direction and come back out the same way. We should be better off. Hopefully, cross your fingers on this.
Because the intersection, we should be staring right at it. Should be over there. Okay. So let's check out over here first. Just in case. I just want to know. Okay, so let's not go that way. Drop down here. Okay, we got the wrong weapon. Ah! Okay. We need to leave. Okay, we lured you down here. Move out through here. This is probably a bad idea. I found some rags. Oh my. I believe you're going to die. Nope, dead end, in all senses of the word. Okay, and back up here. You know, I have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing it. Okay, so... kind of hope this is related to the quest. It's a bit... much. And there's the brain casing. Wow. R. Carter, Randolph Carter, Moonbase, Hopeless Centauri. Next visit, return to Earth for Traveler Quest. Next is Whisper Street, begin Central Street and Deep Shore, Eastern Grima Bay. What a pity. Let's travel with a great company on my home. Maybe we'll ask him once more. Okay. We've got Omega 1. Key evidence collected. And now we are leaving. However, we're doing pretty good with the looting, so I hope we've made up for some of the stuff we ever lost here. Let's see if I, I don't think we're going to make it back down very easily. Oh, there's another one over there. Grab that box, too. No, nothing there. Whoosh! Look at that down there. Now I wonder... What would a grenade be like? Oh, let's not go... Apparently we're going crazy just watching it. It's a bit much for the mind. A bit much, a bit much. Once we get out of here, we'll, uh... Just... I hope we don't get killed. This sort of drop's probably gonna kill us. Maybe... We can find a way... Okay, stop looking at them. Okay, cool. Now, these are just psychotics episodes. They're not really here. Get your stuff together, man. Get it together. Okay. Gonna have to run through here. We have to be very quick about it. Oop, not through there. Not through there. But through here. No, not through here. This way. This way. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. I think we're gonna die. I think we're gonna die, which is unfortunate. We're, we're doing really good. Alright, let's let's just go out fighting. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so they were kind enough to let us keep the the, the um cylinder when we rebooted, so I'm gonna take that because I'm not going back through that again. So, yeah, currently, where are we headed back next? Let's see. Whisper between <clears throat> Grimhaven and Whisper Street. Now, oh, let's... And we didn't even lose that much ammo, either. All right. Okay. Grimhaven Bay. That's where we started, wasn't it? Yep. Grimhaven's down here. What are we looking for? For the... Oh, give that back to me, goddammit. Yeah, sorry about this. Whisper Street between Central Street and Deep Shore Road. Let's place a map. Whisper Street, Deep Bay Road. Hmm. There's Whisper Street. There's Deep Shore Road. Sorry. Whisper Street between Deep Road, Central Street, and Deep Road. Okay, that means it has to be here. Okay, so yeah, form Omega One. I guess we uh, transport ourselves back over there. This is the closest point. I will let you know when I get there. Okay, I think I found it over here. As you can see, we're right by the map, and I do see a landing over there. So let's uh, let's get ourselves turned around, shall we? Shut up, crying out loud. Embarrassing me here, man. All right, so yeah, that looks ominous. Okay, what we need now is, I think, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to toss a grenade in ahead of us. Then, hopefully. Oh no 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 no! We're not. 
We're not playing with him. We're gone. We are so very gone. Oh, dear gods. Yeah, we'll we'll finish this quest another time, all right? Okay, so we skipped around a bit. Now, do you remember the um, cemetery quest, the one in which we were supposed to get three graves and find the bodies? Well, it turns out I never got the third grave, so that's why it's still on my open list. But let's see what we got here. My beloved Virginia, I'm fulfilling your final wish. You'll rest in your own house forever. Forgive me, for I was not brave enough to declare my love to you. I was among living. I will atone for my stake. So, yeah, somebody left their... Oh, good lord. Let's check the case book on that one. Uh, inscription on the tombstone, Virginia Cooper, 887, honorable that. So we've got the name. We need to find out where she was going. That's probably going to mean we have to head to City Hall. So, yeah. And also for our our skills, what do we want? I mean, this is... Yeah, let's... We've been relying on, the, on this heavy. We're going to be a shotgun surgeon. Hang on. So here we are, back at lovely... City Hall. Let's go check out the archives. All right. So what we need to do, let's see, let's find Plunder Grave. Okay, so this one's got the indicator by it. So we have subject is citizen, period is 19th century, and let's see, citizen records. Let's try that. All right, Divinity Cooper, date of birth, in March 21, 1887, taken by flood, marital south of Spinster, Bread Cooper, Maple Lane between Polaris Road and Old Church Road. Okay, let's get to the map. Rest in peace. Let's place this on the map. It's Northern Salvation Harbor. Shells conversing. This is Grim Harbor Bay, Salvation Harbor between Polaris Road and Old Church Road. Okay. Polaris Road and Old Church Road. There's Polaris, there's Old Church, and we need Maple Lane. Boom. Right there by the infested point. Of course it is. Closest transport point will be over here, so we got a bit of a walk to go. Alright, let's give it a whirl. Okay, hold on. I think we've kind of crossed another quest here. I have it marked as the open house one, in which the Fishman Realtor wants us to fumigate this place, so I'm guessing there'll be monsters. So, as per usual, lead with a shotgun. Alright, this is the place he plans on renting, huh? Market must be pretty bad. And then we have a... And a psychotics. Always good. Let me guess. Yeah, I can't carry any more. Oh, if we can't carry any more shells, we definitely need to make some. Already maxed out this, so... Yeah. All right, it's about where I like it. Okay, what's this? Letter from hospital. Dearest Jeremy, my test suggests that your symptoms are so-called Innsmouth so syndrome. Your case may be a difficult one, but science helps you free this illness. Come by, and we'll try a free ther therapy based on experimental de worrying medicine I've invented. I convinced the symptom result of Helmuth infestation, raw, poorly cooked fish. Oh, for God's sakes! This dude. All right, so yeah, we there's the sensor he wanted us to put in. Uh, let's see if there's anything else around here. Diary from Sunken Flat. Eating fisk has mentioned my skin a lot. Its elegant paleness has changed an ugly greenish color. I thought its mirror was spoiled by the damp, but it's not. The balsam I brought didn't help. I can't sleep now. What if I become green like a seaweed? Those nasty crawls grow on me. Jeremy's caught a cold. I'm so afraid he'll lose the job. He went to the doctor and wears this ugly scarlet scarf even while I'm sleeping. Poor Jeremy. That's because he's developing uh, uh, gills. The sheets are so dry. I can't sleep. Maybe a short walk will help. The water tonight is so calm I want to touch it. Jeremy is busy at work and I consume as much as I want. That's all I want to be in the water. Oh, you've become a fish person. Your destiny is complete. Now you're one with Dagon. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god, so we're just overloaded and stuff. I don't... When it starts getting generous, I start getting worried. Whatever the deal. Jeremy, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I destroy own several ships. None of them can take you to your sister to the sea. Nevertheless, the other captain of this board may agree to your plan. Come to the port, find me near the entrance, and I'll introduce some of my friends. Huh. Still haven't got all the evidence yet. Anything else here? Ah, yes. This is where I came in. Got the shell casings I used up. Okay, what's down there? Don't know. Can we actually get there, though? Alright, so... Hopefully we can get out again. Mm, yeah.
Yeah, this place looks scuzzy. All right, but we got this. First aid kit. Good. I'll take your supplies. You don't need them. You're probably with one with the water right now. You know, I've got so much stuff I honestly want to save. Just in case. All right, so cool. Oh. Waste, I know. But it's the one I've got. Okay, so let's just give something more appropriate to you, shall we? Because we know we got bigger things out there. I can hear them. Come on. Okay, that was just a distraction. We're gonna have to leave now. Still need to take that damn picture, though. All right, hang on, hang on. No, because this is his problem. Not mine. We are leaving. Oh, bye-bye. We're gone, we're gone. You know, I don't think the fumigation medicine is working. All right, so back to the place we were going originally. Well, then. This is problematic. Okay, I guess we're coming to the top. Yeah, this is... Her house is down here somewhere. So, once we jump in, we're not going to be able to get out. I'm guessing that's it right there. But I won't be able to get in through there. Alright. Well, just in case. Also, I passed a... Uh, passed a... Um, uh, quick travel thing near my way here, so if something does go horribly wrong, I almost guaranteed to go horribly wrong. Yep, we found the right place. Uh. Yeah, okay, so yeah, let's get our inventory back up a bit, drop a shell in, and get three, two, ma two extra mags is what I like. At least we're doing good with inventory. One thing about this, I'm expending a lot, but I'm also getting a lot back. Ah, apparently somebody was doing some sorcery because there's really no other reason to freaking have candles on your floor. Okay. Corner. All right. These things can't teleport out of anywhere. All right, or anything else? A mug like it. Apparently they're a fisherwoman. Virginia was, or the place had been squatted. But we gotta find that dead body that was kidnapped by the uh, admirer. Dragged out of the body and brought back here. Now apparently I'm guessing she'd probably want to live at home while she could when she was dying. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the guy commits suicide to be with him. And is an insmith person. Apparently that's the body I'm looking for. All bodies found. Key evidence collected. Suicide number, beloved Virginia, I'm coming to you. Thank you for the last and most beautiful dinner of my life. I'm holding your hand. Despite its icy touch, the warmth of your love, I will see you in the next life. You ate her, didn't you? Great. Still got more evidence, though, don't I? Yep. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. Most of it should be around here. The body. Flowers. Remember, we saw the flowers by the grave. Oh. Romantic. Not the first thing you'd expect to see in a flooded city. Okay, so that's all the evidence. So what we need to do is we need to go back. Once we collect all that. We need to go back and tell the dude that we found all the bodies and he can collect them. Or what's left of them. Alright, so yeah, we got the shield casings. So, let's get the heck out of here. Somehow. Come on, tell me you can do a pull-up. You can't do a pull-up. Okay, so... Give me the map. We can't go back out that way, so now we're going to have to head to the Polaris. And, yep, let's head right at the intersection. We should be able to survive. Worked so well last time. Yeah, hi guys. Totally understand you're upset with me. Inter yeah, this is your territory. Yeah, I know, I know. I shouldn't have done that. I'm just so greedy. Uh, this has been a much better way to get in and out. So yeah, we'll head over and check out the guy, all right? Tell the guy everything's cool. Okay, so yeah. Let's go ch let's go tell him. Let's get our first freaking side quest in like forever over. 
we are, however, doing pretty well. I'm getting, I'm getting more experience in using the weapon tree and such, which is good for these things. And there you go. I wrote down the locations of all three missing corpses. Thank all angels, kind sir. You saved me. I say, you did. Take this for your kindness. Plus, plus, I will save you a good plot in the cemetery. Save you quiet neighbors, fit for a gentleman. Well, that's kind of him. Silent neighbors? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what? You have noisy ones? It happens, kind sir. Many people prefer to be burned than lie in some parts of the cemetery. Not eh, just some things. That's kind of you. Mama said do unto others what's been done to you. So thank you, kind sir. Yeah, I ain't gonna insult him. Bye. Alright, thank God. So can't carry any more shotguns. Got another knowledge point. Well, at least... Oh, man of science. Okay, we're gonna have to end the episode of me getting that thing on. Alright, so, yeah. I'll see you over there. Let's see what we got. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Man of science. Oh. Good lord, I love this look. It is snazzy. Oh yeah, we're definitely keeping this. Now, I'm thinking we might have enough. Let's see, casebook. Thank god we finished that one. But, open house. Yeah, okay. We've completed that one. We've done that. Oof. Okay, collection of photos. Okay, so yeah, we've got one, two, three. Oh, I don't know. I've been recording for a bit. There's a lot of transit time I've been able to go through, so I think we'll probably end up tackling the Naos missions next time around. Finish off that. I know it's been kind of random, but we've been kind of going where the flow until the flow beats us up very badly. So, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a fantastic world. Seeing farewell from Lovecraft Country and our side treks through the Sinking City. If you like this, like, share, subscribe, and if you're listening to this, hopefully we managed to get at least some of my regular schedule back together. But time will pass and we will get back to the regular uh, scheduled programming. Until then, have a wonderful time. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.